This video is sponsored by Zebronix. Today we create a really cool and creative text animation in After Effects. If you guys are looking for a really high quality speakers or maybe a cool mechanical keyboard or a super responsive mouse or a dope looking cabinet for your next build then make sure to check out Zebronix.com. From slim LED TVs to wireless headsets they have it all at a really good and reasonable price. For more information check out the link in the description below. Hey guys what's up this is Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. Today we are going to take a look at creating a really cool and creative title animation in After Effects. So without any further ado let's get straight into the tutorial and get started. Alright so here we are in After Effects so let's start by creating a new composition. This is going to be our main comp so let's rename this to main. 1920 into 1080 let's make this 30 frames and let's make this 10 seconds and hit OK. Then let's start by creating our first text now it can be anything that you want so I'm gonna go and type in something like time just like we did for the example let's set this to full. Let's center this up and I'm gonna make this let's see maybe around let's go with 230 and we, I can set this to 0 and by the way I'm using the uni sans bold you can of course use any font that you like it is just one of my favorite fonts I'm going to use it maybe I'll make it 250 okay so we can anytime pre comp it so we can you know replace the text anytime so don't need to you know type in the text you know and do the complete animation again and again so let's call this text underscore o1 and hit ok all right so the first thing that i'm going to do is that line that comes in the between so let's go and create that for that i'm not going to use a stroke i'm going to use a rectangle and we don't need the stroke so i'm going to set the fill to something like a gray color maybe and let's drag in something like that let's align this in the center Go to rectangle 1, rectangle path 1 and let's unlink this. Set this to maybe around, let's go with 500 maybe. Uh, I think that's a bit too small so let's go with 700 maybe. Let's see, yep that looks good. Let's set this to 5 pixels. There we go. Looks sweet. And now we can go and animate, you know, the size if we want. But I'm going to animate the scale. So let's hit Control Z and let's call this line call this underscore 01 and we can just hit S to bring down the scale properties unlink this and make sure the anchor point is at the bottom or not the bottom at the left side of the square or the shape and by the way if you don't have the move anchor point script I'll provide the link in the description so you can go and download it it is absolutely free so now I can scale the animation just like that as you can see so let's go maybe around one second create a keyframe go back in time and let's set this to zero so now we have a simple animation just like that so now what we can do is right over here at one second i'm gonna i'm gonna hold Control shift d to split this layer up and hit u to remove or get rid of all the keyframes all right then i'm gonna switch the anchor point to the right side just like that and now what I'm going to do is hit R, create a keyframe, hit S, create a keyframe and hit P to create a keyframe. So I'm going to hit U so we can see all the keyframes that we created for the position, scale and rotation. So let's go to 2 seconds maybe. And what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to rotate this up just like that to around 90 degrees. And also scale this down a bit just somewhere around there maybe 20 yeah 20 looks perfect and I'm gonna play around with the position or maybe we don't need the keyframe for the position so we don't just need the keyframes for the rotation and the scale so now we have something like that but as you can see right over here it's a bit small I think for the text maybe no I think it's perfect yep that is um, perfect 
So what I'm going to do is let's bring this close to let's say 20 frames. So now we have a little bit of you know pause in between something like that looks pretty good and I'm going to do the same thing again so let's hit Control D to duplicate it hit U and we can just create keyframes again go right over here and just set this to 20 and the rotation to minus 90 so now we have something like this as you can see pretty simple to do so right now the animation is looking pretty simple and lame so let's make it a bit cooler by selecting the keyframes and hitting F9 to ease, ease those keyframes going to graph editor and right click and make sure you're working in the edit speed graph and not in the edit value graph so I'm going to select the keyframe and drag this handle just like that so the animation starts in really fast and settles down slowly just like that and the same thing I'm going to do for this keyframes as well so let's just drag it in a little bit maybe something like that okay looks pretty good thing like that yep looks really really cool okay that is looking perfect to me so at two seconds what I can do is let's go to two seconds and crop this up by holding alt and close bracket just like that let's duplicate this we can change the color so we can you know see it more properly maybe make it red and what I can do is I'm going to drag this by holding shift just like that right over here I have the keyframes so hit U and get rid of all the keyframes so we have a stroke like that so let's go to somewhere around let's scale this up not scale this up just increase it so we can see where the stroke is and see this stroke we have it as well so we can just center this up maybe I'll just pull this up just like that bring the anchor point in the center and scale this up to maybe I think probably 40 yup that is just perfect so let's see if we don't have any glitches as you can see we have a little bit of you can see right over here so what I can do is just crop this up again by holding alt and close bracket just the touch yup that is looking pretty good and then what I can do is create my second text so oh, before that what we can do is let's complete this part of the animation pretty quick so what I'm gonna do is right over here I'm gonna create a shape layer let's keep it come something like a darker gray doesn't really matter and create a shape just big enough just like that just to cover up the text and just center this up let's call this let's leave it at shape and what I can do is just parent this shape to I think line 2 and let's see what we have yep perfect that you can see just duplicate the shape and just parent this to line 1 oh line 3 not 1 and just drag this first of all right over here so now we have something like that as you can see really simple but now what I'm gonna do is duplicate the text hit control D so we have three copies and this is gonna be our base text so I'm gonna set this to red now we have text one and text one two copies actually we have two copies of text one now so we can just bring the shape one right over here and shape one on right over here just on the top of the text composition and change the track mat of the text to alpha mat oh I think something went wrong not alpha mat maybe alpha inverted oh I'm changing the text layer maybe I'll just set this alpha inverted nope not working I don't know why I don't know why it's not working let's see if everything is working fine I think this should crop the shape up but it's not doing it and I have no idea why so let's set this to no track mat let's check it out again maybe this is the shape this is the text oh 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 it was working actually we need to hide this text layer so I was seeing this text layer so I thought it wasn't working it's yep perfect something like that you get the idea let's set this to alpha mat so we should have something like that just turn on this text so as you can see bam and we can turn on this and add a different color 
or whichever color that you like I'm gonna go with kind of a darker maybe something like a, something like that and you can see it looks really really cool yep I'm happy with that so let's animate this stroke so now what I can do is I can go ahead and create my second text you can type in of course anything that you want bring this in the center close the caps lock and let's pre comb this let's call this text underscore o2 hit ok and now what I can do is select the stroke just like that and let's animate the position so create a keyframe on the position go to 3 seconds or maybe 20 frames not 3 seconds that will be a bit too long let's drag this right over here and um, and 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 or maybe what I can do is let's drag it in go to 4 seconds and let's hold shift while just dragging it up just like that so we have something like that let's select the keyframes hit F9 go to graph editor and let's create something like this so now we have yep that looks perfect to me I think that is a bit too slow we'll drag this to around 20 frames okay so right over here what I'm gonna do is create a shape again just like that this is gonna be the mat and we need to place it right over there just a touch to the stroke yep perfect and also parent this up to the line 4 so it moves along with the line just like that it's not maybe I'll just hit control Z and make it a bit bigger so that it covers up the complete text make sure the anchor point is right over here so we can easily you know scale this up and just drag this right over here okay that is looking good and let's parent this up to line 4 so now we have something like that and all we need to do is change the track mat of the text to alpha mat I guess just like that and we also need to get rid of the time text that is the first one so to do that what we can do is basically just duplicate this shape layer hit ctrl D bring this on the top of this text and set this to alpha mat oh I think alpha and what it so now we have right over there let's crop both of the shapes by holding alt and close bracket and I think that should do let's see our animation yep that is perfect simple and easy to create and looks really cool and creative I think so you can anytime change the color of the lines as well if you want to maybe you can keep it at white or maybe something like a black to make it look even more cool you can see kind of a slicing text animation but I prefer to keep it at white this one as well let's make this white oh it didn't change the colors make this white so it's really simple and easy to create as you can see so pretty quickly let's create a background so hit ctrl y to create a new solid doesn't matter which color it is let's rename this to bg for background let's place it and add a four color gradient just to make it look you know just to make it pop a bit something like that and make this something like a white color let's drag it in make it black make this black as well maybe I'll play oh maybe I'll place it somewhere around there maybe just like that so let's place it something like that and maybe something like here let's increase the blend just a bit also some 
jitter maybe 25 percent of jitter should work good and okay that is not looking that bad but i think i'll change the white color to pink as well that looks a bit more better i think let's make some tweaks maybe maybe i'll make this one a bit darker just to give some variation in it something like that okay this is looking pretty good we have a really nice looking background as well for the text animation and at the end we can do some color correction if we want to so we can pretty quickly create a new adjustment layer let's rename this to cc for color correction and um, i'm gonna add some curves to this pretty quick pretty simple like that looks really really cool so as you can see it is really simple and easy to create and i hope you learned something new from this tutorial and just a quick update that i have start i have also started a new channel for vlogging so if you're interested you know to see me vlogging so make sure to check out my channel life looks like show some love and yep thank you so much for being here watching my tutorials so let's wrap it up for today i hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe comment and like and i'll see you in my next video till then take care and thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw stay creative